Hello everybody, how's it going? Hang on, I just realized I have a window open I forgot to close down. Hi everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I thought we would do a jewelry jar old school style where I would be live, face up. I've had a few requests to bring it back. So if you are new to the channel or new here in general, hi. My name is Margaret. I am a homeschooling reselling mom that flips things on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And a lot of the things I sell is jewelry. And I do have a jewelry group on Facebook called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, which uh, is a really super friendly group that helps with all kinds of jewelry selling things. But lately, I've been doing a lot of camera down jewelry videos. And so I thought today we would do a, a camera up one live. And uh, if you're new to this style or you weren't, if you're new to the channel, it's not going to be as straightforward as my normal, like the camera down ones. Uh, there's a lot more in and out of the chat, talking with people, answering questions as we go. So if that annoys you, I'm warning you in advance. You don't have to watch. You can just wait and then I'll have a, the back to the camera down ones coming very soon, probably Tuesday, because tomorrow's my live sales video. So that's that's the disclaimer up front. If you're looking for like, just show us the jewelry already. We don't want to see you or hear you. This isn't the video for you. I'm warning you now. Okay, so <laughs> if you're all in, say hey in the chat, especially if you're alive. Hi, everybody. Hello, Fine H Finds and Brylin Farms. Thanks you for being here. Thanks, Walta and everybody else. Yay! Okay, so I thought I would let you guys choose. I thought that would be fun. So I've got two jars, and then I've got some friend mail that uh, a friend sent me a bag of jewelry. So I thought we would vote on what jewelry to do. And uh, yeah, so you guys could help me pick. So these are the last two jars I bought in person before all the shutdown and everything. And my my rule for myself usually is that I have to see something in the jar that I think I can make my money back on. I had, I think, a 20% off coupon at Savers, so it's 20% off. This was $19.99 for this jar. I'm going to show it to you so you can decide. This is jar number one. We'll take our votes in a second to see which one. And as I'm looking at them, I'm trying to figure out, what did I see? Because <laughs> now I'm looking at it going, uh, why did I buy this jar? I must have seen something in it though, because that's that's the rule, and I always follow the rules. <laughs> okay, and then this one was $24.99. And let's look at that one. And again, it was I had the 20% off coupon. I see a few things that are maybe I see a billion beads in the bottom. That was very alliterate. Allit allit I think you know what I'm saying. Alliteration. Alliterate? Alliter. Oh gosh, what's the word? Um Anyway, so that's two. Hi, hi. Let me see in the chat who's all there. And then I'm going to show you the third one. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could make it live. Yay, Tori from Spokane. My aunt and uncle live in Spokane. I got to visit a few years back. And then this is the bag you can't see very much. This is from my friend mail. But there's lots of stuff in there. So let me grab my... This is from, this is from Kimberly. Kimberly, are you in the chat? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, Foxy Cat says, I, I, I missed your face. I've been getting a few messages. Please do a, a camera up one. So I'm like, okay, today's the day. You're going to do it. Okay, so let's vote. One, that was my computer. Two or three. We'll see them all eventually. So there's that. Hi, everybody in the chat. Okay, so I'm waiting to see what you decide. And then we'll go. Oh, it's Saturn Girls Test. Hey, <laughs> thank you for being here, everybody. And again, if you're just jumping in and you missed the beginning, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, bringing it back old school. So expect talking in the chat and expect um, side nonsense and singing probably and, and whatever else. So <laughs> let's see. Kristen votes friend mail. Oh, I see some friend mail. Hey, Lydia. Purple, purple. Lily's here. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm going to count them up in a second. Maybe I should set a timer. Pancake, count it off. Ten seconds. He's not complying. Ooh, I see a lot of threes. I see some twos. 
Oh, yes, you get a choice. <laughs> okay, let me show you one more time. I see lots of threes, lots of friend mail. Okay, so this is one. This is two. Okay, I see a bunch of threes. We're going in with a friend mail. So, this was from Kimberly. And I get a lot of comments like, oh my gosh, you're touching mail stuff. I sanitize everything. My process is, I, anything that comes in, it goes to the garage. And it sits in the garage for a few days. And then I sanitize the box. And maybe it's overkill. But maybe it's not. I don't know. So, anyway, Kimberly sent this. So, I'm going to show you the other stuff she sent, too since you, you picked Kimberly's bag. So she sent the bag, but she also sent some other goodies. She sent, and my kids were really interested in these. She sent these two, and she was like, you can sell them if you want, or you can keep them, whatever. My kids were like, what? They're digital photo album keychains. And my kids were like, really into that, wanting to know how to get the pictures on there. And then a really cool Bronte, Emily, Charlotte, and Bronte mug. And I love literature a lot, so, and I love quotes and things like that, so I definitely, ah, uh, I love it. So there's that. And then also, a little, <laughs> okay, this is childish, but this bird is called a blue tit. So this is a little blue tit, um, mirror. So, this reminds me uh, when I got a biopsy a long time, this is sort of really an aside, a long time ago when I had to get a, a biopsy of the chest and the doctor doing the biopsy like spread this like, I guess it was some sort of antiseptic, but it was brown and he was like trying to make a joke and he was like, you have officially been initiated into the brown titty tribe or something like that. I was just like, oh my gosh, get me out of here. So stressed out, but he was trying to make a trying to make a, a joke about it. Anyway, I have a very, another funny story from that from that biopsy, but maybe I'll save it for another time. Um, let's see. Looking in the chat real quick. Hi, hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. I have the same rule. Okay, good. You have to see something in there. Captain Diligence says, uh, it's not overkill. I do the same thing. My sister sent me a box that's been in the garage for two weeks. You can never be too safe. Right, and I think I've shared with you all that my son has got some respiratory stuff. I always get the name of it wrong. Reactive airway disease, something like that. Anyway, um, oh, thanks, Tammy. Oh, yeah, Princess Casserole says, the digital picture key change will be perfect for a senior. This is true. Hmm, I know a couple seniors. <laughs> okay, then there's a little, I think this is for earrings, right? Like a little earring doodad thing. Oh, and tell me what you think about this, since we're really going to be off track. I was thinking about doing a... I, you know how I do a lot of catch and release jewelry? That means I catch it and keep it and then sell it. I've been doing a lot of catching, but not a lot of releasing. So I was thinking about going through my jewelry and kind of doing a, a keep it, get rid of it type of deal, but doing it on a video. So let me know. I think I think it'll go well. Then this is cute. Manatee. This is for the loose tea, and you put it in there with the manatee. Isn't that adorable? I will definitely use that. Oh, yeah. I like the chamomile. And then this is a filter teapot. I don't talk about how I like tea, but this is a cool filter teapot. Is it red or is it, because I like red. I like lots of colors. Oh, it's green. Oh, I didn't even look inside, y'all. This is my green, too. It's like chartreuse. Oh, polka dotty. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay. Now, so that is, that was the friend mail. Wasn't that great? I was so, it really brightened my day. As you guys know, I don't know, everybody has their down days with all of this. And yeah, so it really brightened my day. Okay, let's do it. Let me see the chat before we jump in. And again, oh, thank you uh, for the kind words. Uh, I see more friends have jumped in. I'm going to say this one more time because I know I'm going to get a comment about it. That a lot, some people don't like this style of jewelry unboxings, and I am not switching all the way over to this, but I might incorporate a few more here and there. Um, but it's going to be me talking to people, too. So, <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm pulling stuff out. I'm excited. And, oh, thank you, everybody. So, Mary says, love declutters. You should definitely do the video. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. I'm trying to figure out, oh, fun stuff. Okay, I'm pulling out just some of the little, because a lot of them are individually bagged. So, 
Maybe I didn't think this through, but we'll have to open all the bags. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, everybody. Just open the packages, wash my hands after, don't have a garage. Yeah, this is true. Caitlin says, I can't leave it outside. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so first up. Okay, I put on deodorant today. I don't leave the house a whole lot, so I'm like, I don't start holding my arm up and then start smelling like a swamp and wondering, what's going on in here? <laughs> but no, I'm good. I showered and everything today. This is a really sweet necklace. It's got a little, is that a bee or a, yeah, a bee. A little bee and a little drop pendant. That's really sweet. I love delicate stuff like this. This is really cute. There's that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Debbie. Pancake, you're sitting on my tray. Pancake is, is commandeering the jewelry tray. Ooh. Okay, seeing some other fun stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. I know that things are, I don't know, things are just crazy in this world right now. Okay, then there's this cool necklace. It's got these kind of amber colored beads and oh, what do you call that style? I almost want to call it a medallion style, but it's not quite a medallion. Not quite floral either. So, oh, this, thank you, Fresh Finds and Designs. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, pancake, you're gonna have to share. All right, hello, hello. And then look at this cool brooch. This, it's like a sword and shield with a rampant lion on it. That's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, Connie says she just jumped in. So this is friend mail. We, we took a vote. When I say we, I mean y'all. Um, yeah, I'll go. Oh, don't go, but now, but now he wants to go, Harley Kitty. Now you're like, can we see pancake? Yes. This is Pancake. Say hi, Pancake. Ooh, you're so fluffy. Look at this fluffy dummy. He's like, oh my gosh, please, woman. Mm -hmm. This is the one. He's usually sitting behind my computer and knocking things over. Right? He's so patient. <laughs> okay, down you go. Okay. Uh, um, I think I was in the middle of answering the question and then got sidetracked, which is <laughs> par for the course. So, yeah, this is friend mail. So um, friends voted. Look at this one. So this is like a, a gold like globe. It's the earth. Okay, hands. It's, okay, y'all bear with me. See? It's the earth in gold tone. And that is from a brand called Zad, which I've seen before, but I don't know a ton about Zad, yeah. <laughs> He's a big boy, right? He's so cute. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Holistic Living. Yeah, these were bought back before the lockdown, so probably either February or early March, because we, we kind of locked down here mid-March-ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Connie, he's got fur that's like, um, like rabbit fur. He's so fluffy. He's so fluffy. Okay, so then there's this really cool, kind of like Tiffany Company style beads, like the color. And then we got a sassy tassel. And my friend Mary, who I doubt is in here, she might be, she said that she was going to ask her daughter to write a, a new sassy tassel song. Because I said I didn't like the sassy tassel song I came up with. <laughs> Saturn Girl says, Pancake looks like, who are all these people? Let me out of here. He is a very demanding kitty. I mean, he's sweet, but he can be very meowy and demanding. Like, he lets you know, you know. Okay. Then we've got a kitty brooch with some really cute bling in it and green eyes. That's really sweet. I think I see a mark up there. Can you see it? Wait, turn it. No, there's no mark. But, yeah. Bar um... Uh, Ryland Farm says, is Pancake a Maine Coon? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, we got him from the Humane Society, and I thought he was maybe part, what do you call it, like ragdoll? Because he's just really super floppy, even though you can tell he's like, Ugh, put me down. But he just flops there, and is, I don't know. But Maine Coons are real big, really, real big, really big. Then there's this cool, this is a hair clasp. And it's made from leather. That's pretty awesome. 
I have cat hair on my nose now. Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, then go over there and leave a thumbs up if you haven't. Let's see how many friends. 131 friends. Hey. This is fun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got I got a, uh, this is a boomerang keychain. And I might have to give this to my kids because they, for whatever reason, love keychains. Uh, but we actually got a boomerang <laughs> from the bins one of our last trips and they work and they come swinging back around and they you know there were a couple times that the, the kids and I almost got whacked with the boomerang thanks Danny um yeah ah oh, pink elephant says my cat toker is very demanding he has a Russian blue Daniel um my sister has one of her cats is a Russian blue and his name is Jax so Yes, Karen says I have a ragdoll and he's in a cream tabby. Ragdolls are floppy and gentle. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty gentle. The cat. Good heavens, Daniel! I think you've made your point. Daniel's our newest baby, and he's super sweet. But now he's knocking things over. Okay, so then I love bracelets like this. This is that mixed metal, and it's kind of got that repoussé where it's like hammered from the back, and then they've got uh, another layer. To hide the backing so that's cool yay this is so exciting thank you for sending this stuff okay I'm looking in the chat I haven't seen anything else yet I, I hesitate to be silly with with gift items oh this is one of those aromatherapy ones aromatherapy necklace looks like this is that like a little sponge in there Daniel I'm blaming you ah it is so it's like a little piece of felt in there. And I guess you would put your drops of lavender or whatever right on it and wear it. That's awesome. We're a big lavender family here. Oh, it's got some more felt to go with it. You could color code which flavors you want or aromas that you want. Look, all the cats are here. Hey, Pris. Come here, Pris. She's like, ah, I couldn't escape quick enough. We're going to see all the cats. This is Leia. We call her Pris. You doing okay? She's like, put me down. Oh my gosh. We call her Pris for a reason. She's very, she's very prissy. So <laughs> now she's gonna go pee on something <laughs> because I made her mad. All right. Um, who sent this? So this was sent by Kimberly. Kimberly A. And I'm not sure because I say Kimberly A because I'm not sure she wants her name shared. Oh, Lily May, thank you for that super. Super sticker, I think that's what those are called, and says, number one fan, is it an avocado or a pear? I called it a pear before, and someone said it was an avocado. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I've got cat hair all over me. Okay, now, Nola says, I need lavender in my life. I have, like, a big bottle of it, because I put it in my bath. I put it, I have a diffuser in my bedroom. My sister has a friend who makes lotion uh, called Shuggy Bees. And she makes lotion bars and lotions. And so Elaine will go over there and make lotion with her. And then she'll add like extra lavender. So it's super lavendery. It smells good. Ooh. So this was what was in the little blue box. Oh my goodness. Okay. I like Celtic knot stuff. This is tangled. Please detangle. Okay. We can do this. I don't have fast forwarding speeds on this one. Sorry, y'all. I think I can handle it though. Oh, S.E. Denny 66. I have four cats, three boys and one girl. The girl's a diva. Yeah, we had um, five when we split, when I got, I split up. Uh, the Two of them went to live with the other, with the other house. So this is the necklace. This is so cool and unusual. It's asymmetrical. It's got two of the Celtic knots there. And then one, a little like, embellished piece there and then this with the dragonfly it looks like a locket come on I should turn it on its side oh yeah see little locket I love it that's so cute and then the earrings have got a rivoli colored stone kind of the same kind of amber colored and the Celtic knot with it those are fun I love it those are awesome okay I used to have an Irish Scottish gift shop. Love the Celtic. Yes, definitely. You may not know this about me. You probably don't. I have a Celtic knot tattoo on my back. So, 
there's that tidbit of trivia. <laughs> so, okay, next up, this is another kind of asymmetrical necklace. It's got a, probably like a celluloid type rose, and then a magnetic closure. Let's see. Is this one that, oh, I got, it's going to pull my hair. <clears throat> Hang on. Let me move this so you can see. I don't think I pull this off. <laughs> but, okay, I know. Here we go. It has to, we have to check it on the head. I have a large head, so it won't fit all the way around. But that would look good on the head if it had pearls going all the way that way and that way. Okay. Lily May says, I'm Irish Scottish. Me too, but I did my, um, which am I 23 in me, and I have more of other stuff in there too. I mean, I my grandmother was German, but then there's a lot of Scandinavian in there as well. So, that was cool. Okay, so next up, oh, okay, I thought maybe the stones have fallen out, but it looks like maybe there's some, like, abalone, like, thin shell set into this one. So that's a cool little cat hair floating around. Um, little cuff bracelet, that's sweet. Yeah, this has been, it's really nice. She sent some nice stuff. I'm really very, very grateful. Okay. Around the, yes. Okay, here's a cool stretch one. Oh, I like this. It looks kind of like Lucky Brand or Fossil. What do you think? So it's got a cute little turtle. It's got horseshoes, four-leaf clovers, a little blue ladybug. How nice. Oh, I like this one. Let's check that stretch. Not bad. Okay, any maker's marks? <clears throat> Very cool. Oh, I like that one a lot. I like the lucky the lucky charms. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let me get a sip. Okay. <clears throat> ah, okay, so she put, I don't know. So this is the maker of the, should I share this? I guess it's okay. This is the, the locket. So this is a card for that person that made the, the that thing. Proudly handmade in the USA. Very cool. Good job, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> so this looks like probably pewter. There's a mark in there. We'll see. It's a cat with glasses and googly eyes. Oh my gosh. I can't even think of a story for this cat. Give me a minute. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Let me see what the mark is on the inside. <laughs> while, I, while I ponder this necklace. It says fab. So this cat is, is a fab cat. I, I don't even know. <clears throat> it's really fun though. I like it. It's super unique. That's fun. Oh. <laughs> So, this was sent, are you asking who sent this? This was sent by Kimberly. I may, you may be asking something else. I don't know if she has a channel or not. The next are some little art earrings. There's a palette, there's a paint chip that says red, and then some little pencils. Those are sweet. Those are cool. Oh, this is fun. This is nice. East Texas? Which part of East Texas are you from, Mary? My family's from East Texas. All right, we've got a harp ch uh, pendant. Isn't that cool? Uh, that's something you don't see every day for sure. And that one also has a mark. Let's see. C mm, oh, MJ. I don't know that. I, I don't know that one off the top of my head. MJ. Cool. Geek cat. Yeah, definitely. And then... Brainiac, yes. <laughs> then we've got, this is a, a little dolphin, ch a, like clamper bracelet, or not clamper, but hinged. And it's small, so it looks like it would probably, well, I don't know, and it's kind of tight on me, so it might be a child size. But it's cute, how? <laughs> it, it closed really fast on my, on my thumb. Cool. Wow, I haven't done one of these in a while. <clears throat> My throat gets really dry. <laughs> okay, then this is a cool little brooch. It's got a cat and a mirror. 
and it is it's got this brooch on the back it also has a mark here we go this one is a JJ which is John Johnette jewelry correct let's see I have one cat 13 years old gone on one of our trips to Gardner State Park oh nice okay what was I gonna talk to you about now I can't remember oh brother here we go <gasps> okay this one is <laughs> I need some help with this one. All right, here we go. This is two pins. One is a looks like a little owl, and it says "twit twoo." I think it's cute, but I don't understand. Twit twoo. Is it like the owl is saying "uh oh," or twit twit twoo? I don't know. That's cute. They look like they're handmade. Interesting. <laughs> so, it's cute. I love owl, owl stuff. Then, let's take a peek at the next one. This one, the bag says Sacred Jewels, which I don't know about. And then it's this really pretty kind of diamondback shape. It looks like a, like a snake skin almost with the, bead, with the beads. So, very cool. I could definitely see someone liking that. It's really tight. It almost does feel like like snakeskin. My sister, she lives out in the hill country more 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 than me, like Rocky Hill Country, and they found a diamond bag in her garden. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> they killed it, but yeah, it was. It scared my nephew quite quite uh, quite a lot. So this is a little magnetic hematite ring, stretchy, so cool. Let's see. Right, this is one of those. Maybe the owl is like in you know in different countries, animals say say different things. This is one of. Um, do you all follow David Sedaris or read any of his stuff? Uh, one of his in one of his memoirs, he talks about when he goes to other countries, he likes to ask. The cab drivers or people he meets, what is what does the rooster say? What is you know, and ask them the different animal sounds because it's different in every country. But then he also asks them about Santa and it, what Santa's like in their country. And um, <laughs> there's one it's called because one of his stories, I think the name of that one is actually called Six to Six to Eight Black Men, because I think it was in Spain or one of the countries. It's like. Santa travels with six to eight black men, and if you're naughty, then they put you in a bag and beat you or something like that. So it's interesting how the, you know, we went from animal sounds to Santa's, but anyway, that's what it reminded me of. So this is a nice little delicate metal expandable bracelet. It's his story, not mine. <laughs> anyway, oh boy, Lily says, my daughter's best friend has boyfriend best friend has eight boa constrictors whoa let's see did you say you received yes I did I got this haul from Kimberly so and then this is a nice little memory wire green pearl and I'm trying to tell like little peridot chip bracelet that's sweet is that what the owl says in England what does it say again I can't even twit twit really um, oh, this is sweet. So this is a little necklace with, they look like cherries, but they're hearts. I think that's adorable. And it's really dainty and delicate. I think, I think that's a, a nice little brace, a necklace rather. Okay, this one's got something. Treasure, oh, treasure! We got rings. We got rings, people. All right, let's get on it. Rings. So first ring is very blingy. Looks like this. Oh, I love it. It's again, I love the the dainty, delicate. Let me find my loop. Oh, sweet. I like rings and earrings a lot and bracelets. Oh wait, I like it all. Never mind. Uh, not that it matters. I feel I feel weird like looking things over that are a gift, you know. But it doesn't matter. But that's what we're here. We're just looking at it and sharing it. All right? I'm all about rings. 
I have a lot of rings. So I think I will go through my jewelry because, yeah, I need to pare, par, pare, pare it down some. I got a lot. If you, I've got a, in my bedroom, I have, um, it's a mirror of Erised from Harry Potter, but it's a really tall mirror that hangs on the wall that opens and has, you know, where you can hang the jewelry inside. I think I did a video sharing it. And there's that one. And I, I couldn't fit it all in there. So I have uh, kind of an apothecary type of drawer, chest of drawers. And so I have a lot of my jewelry in that too. Ooh, this is nice. So this is a ring that Twit Two is the noise British owls make. Supposedly Twit is one owl and Two is the answering owl. What noise do American owls make? Hoo hoo. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this side has got this ring. And then um, the other side, it flips over. And it's got this kind of intaglio rose. And I suppose you could use it if it was like a press seal. If that was your thing. Or you just wear it like so. So, I'm trying to see if it locks in place. There we go. Yeah. So one side is the black rose. And the other side, this could be code. This is awesome if you're like, you're going to a party with a friend and you're like, I, I know um, I'm going to get really worn out. So I'm going to wear it on green if everything's good. And then if I'm ready to go, I'll flip it. And this will be our code for it's time to go. I'm feeling dark and dirty. No. <laughs> it's time to go home, honey. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's lots of fun things you could do with that. All right. Then, Denny says, I used to play with garden snakes when I was a kid, but not anymore. So, snakes don't bother me too much unless they're obviously like rattlesnakes or copperheads or things like that. I don't really get freaked out by them, but yeah. Spy ring. Yes. <laughs> okay. Then this ring has got this leopard or cheetah. It's got green eyes, it wraps around. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, let me know. I get I get I get emails all the time. I will sell the stuff in the videos. Easy peasy. Just send me an email and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay, then there's this one that kind of looks like it matches that that necklace that we had with the little rose and little blings. Oh, these are so fun. Thank you for sending me these. I love it. Then we've got this ring. They look like, it looks black in the camera, but they're hematite. They're kind of that gray hematite color. So there's that one. And another cool blingy kind of engagement style ring. Very nice. I do. Fits me. <laughs> so I'm there myself. I hope you got a good dowry, girl. Don't you worry about it. My daddy's got one fat hog for you. Anyway, <laughs> then we've got this little band. It looks almost like little bamboo or something, but not real bamboo, but like stylized. And then little stones where the joints are. Um, Twit! Twoo! Ginger Witch says I should draw it out and you can hear it better. Still don't hear it. <laughs> but I get it. I understand. I don't know. I, don't know. I get an owl that sometimes comes and hoots in trees outside out here. And I can't. I don't know. But I guess everybody's hears different things. <laughs> um, so there's this blue stone ring. Very pretty. I don't see any marks. But that's okay. <clears throat> Very pretty. And then a little infinity sign ring. Ah, uh, Mona Litz Lease says, I'm not a snake person. I I got a bad experience when I was a kid, so I'm afraid of them. Yeah, I could understand that. And now, you know, like my nephew had that experience with the diamond back. <laughs> and my sister's been bit by a copperhead. She had to get life lighted. So I get that. I don't want to mess around with them, but 
I don't know. I'm more afraid of cockroaches. <laughs> they just like make my skin crawl. Like the big ones. The like if you haven't experienced one of those big Texas, Louisiana, Florida water bugs, you haven't you haven't lived. <laughs> you don't know fear. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so those are the rings, and I put them back in the box. Very cool. Did I open this one? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we'll look at that one next. This is so fun. I'm so glad. All right, ready? T uh, predictions. What do you think's inside? Here, I'll, I'll shake it. All right, here we go. One and a two and a whoop. Yeah. Hi, Native Jedi Princess. We've got, is it one necklace or two? It's a tortoise. Turtle? Tortoise? Let's look at those feet. It is a... Okay, this one looks like a tortoise feet. But then this one looks like webbed like a turtle. So maybe this is a this is a necklace for people that always get it wrong. And they're like, don't want to embarrass someone if someone comes up and says, Oh my gosh, I love your turtle necklace. And then you could say, it's a tortoise. But if you've got both, they could say, uh, no ma'am. It's a tor tortoise. It's a turtle. And that way, nobody has to get embarrassed. Smart thinking, necklace maker. You're on the right track. Anyway, I like it. <laughs> we got the tortoise and the turtle. Or if you want to call it something else, you can let me know. <laughs> right, Julie? No. That's where I go berserk. I, I can't handle it. Ooh, lovely. All right, so here we've got like the spoon kind of fork bracelet. That's really nice. And it's got a, a like a flip over clasp. Here we go. Ready, set. Come on now, flip. No, it doesn't want to. Okay, it'll flip in a second. But I love it. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I haven't sang anything today. We're doing good. <laughs> Maybe it's too early in the day. Uh, you know what I'm having? I haven't even started. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Yeah. Okay, we've got earrings. We've got... Here we go. Oh, cute. So we've got a little owl. And it's got a little red rivoli tummy. That's really cute. Call me Glenda. I will call them Mama and Baby Mama and Baby Turtle. There we go. All right. And then I'll say tortoise. And then we fight. We'll take it outside. We'll show you who is a tortoise. Turtle. <laughs> Hello, Arizona. All right. So next up is this sweet little necklace pendant that has the treble treble clef? Is that what it is? And sharps? I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, <laughs> Ginger Witch says, I never understood why people who live in countries where there's wildlife that can kill you are afraid of cockroaches that don't hurt you. Have you ever experienced one? They're so gross. They just make my skin crawl. And like, like how do they fly? And why do they dive bomb you? And why, why, why are their legs feeling furry? It's weird, and they're gross. Yeah. Now I did freak out when we had black widows in the garage last summer. That freaked me out. So I hadn't, I had never called a Terminator before. <laughs> Terminator? No, exterminator. I'd never called an exterminator before. But when I discovered Black Widows in our garage, yes. <laughs> oh, TKO says, do you find more in Austin or Houston Goodwills? You mean like jewelry jars? I don't find them here har hardly at all. The Goodwills, definitely not. I find these, these ones I got at Savers. But, yeah. But in Houston, I found them at Goodwills all the time. So, uh, so here's a little cute bicycle pendant on this gold tone chain. That's sweet. Let's see. Yeah, she says, yes, I've seen country cockroaches when I lived in the West Indies. They're huge. They're horrible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, three inches long. They're huge. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I cannot channel my my Sarah from G Do y'all watch Jimmy Fallon? Hello, my name is Sarah. That's Sarah with no H. You know, Sarah. <laughs> yep. Her her step oh my gosh. So if you have if you have or have not seen Sarah, Jimmy Fallon's ill character, um, stepdad Gary is my sister and I go bananas for stepdad Gary. I'll have to share on my on my Facebook page one of his uh, <laughs> he's upstairs. Have you seen this one? He's upstairs making popcorn and he's um and he goes, sound the corn horn. Beep beep. Uh, and it goes on, but it's really funny. I can't do it justice. It's I don't know how they don't crack up when stepdad Gary comes around. Anyway, look at this. Hey millennials, do you know what this is? <laughs> this, uh oh, is it upside down. This is a telephone. And we used to use these to call look at that. I'm not gonna poke that in my ear to pretend like I'm calling somebody. We would talk on that side, and then this one, goodness, if you forget a number or you don't dial it the right way. You have to start all over. <laughs> oh, Native Jedi Princess, thank you for... It's Glenda, right? Um, she, she upgraded her membership to silver. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's that. That's pretty cool. And that does have a mark. Can you all read that? Avon. Cool. But that's cute. I love it. All right, let's see. Oh, Tiger Lily says, I see jewelry bags in Houston, but they're crazy priced. One time they had a huge Tupper, 500 bucks. You'd have to kind of be able to look. Because if I'm going in 500 bucks, you kind of have to. I did buy a $500 lot of jewelry from, and again, I still haven't finished showing you at all. But there was that much stuff in it. I love this style of bracelet, by the way. We're going to look at, let's look at that. I have one that was my grandmother's, and it's, it, it's real gold. It's real gold. But it looks just like this. So this would easily. Let me see. Where's my loop? Where's my loop? This one says Korea. Korea. But yeah, I have one of these that's um, with my grandmother's. So I like that. That chain style. Hmm. <laughs> I might be going over with my other one. Okay. So Avon calling. Oh, this is true, Scarlett. I wonder if that's Avon calling. Right? And then there's this necklace that's kind of got the black and the silk. Wait, is that white thread? Yeah, black and white and then gold tone. Twisty. like it. Okay. Then. Oh, Archie and Mahidabelle. Yes. So. A roach who's friends with a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Then there is this uh, hot air balloons. Have I told you? You know what? I think I have told you the story. Sorry, my eyes. There's a video I did with my sister. I got something in my eye. Um, where we went to a, it was supposed to be a balloon festival uh, and carnival. And, and the video is called, you know, like pantry hall or something like that. It's my sister and I, after going out with, the kids and, my, and our dad to this hot air balloon festival where there was a carnival <laughs> and, and we finally got the kids down and we went into her pantry because it was the only place we could be quiet and have a glass of wine and and discuss the day and the car first of all the hot air balloons never showed up and second of all the carnival was the carniest carnival ever and I wish I had taken video footage of it because it was fantastic and Elaine was like this was terrible but what a ripoff I'm like oh no I think I got my money's worth like the there was a, an area where the, the kids had um like little bumper boats but the motors weren't working in like half of the mode in the and had like half of the bumper boats and there's just a carny standing in the pool of water like pushing the kids in the bumper boats into each other it was fantastic I mean full on Carney teeth, carny outfits, carny attitude. I was like, Elaine, we could go back and have a good time tonight. No, and she was like, Oh my gosh, no. Yeah, and, and I think the hot air balloon thing was just a ruse because there were people sitting out in a field with their folding chairs 
waiting for this hot air balloon. I think they were probably paid paid to sit there because if you've been to a hot air balloon festival, they don't just show up. Like you have to have them set up. It takes time to like get it all. The hot air balloons never showed up. And I wonder about the people that were sitting out in the field waiting for the hot air balloons. Like, what do you think they're going to do and come land here? No, that's not how it works. Yeah. So it was, it was fantastic. <laughs> so if you're interested in more stories about that, then, then look for that video. It's me and my sister sitting in, in the closet or the pantry, her pantry. It was hilarious. Okay, so next, these are little glass um, orca or killer whales. Aren't they awesome? Those are nice earrings. Yeah. So more earrings. Let's see what else we got. Oh, more, more hot air balloons. That was such a I don't know. You got to go in. Yeah, we wasted money. It was horrible. That part of it. <laughs> we had to pay. No refunds was real big when you when you paid. Absolutely no refunds on the, you know, where you pay. Strawberries. Um and now we know why. <laughs> it was a total carny. We had a full carny experience. <laughs> then these are little probably bone I'm gonna feel them. I'm gonna look closer. They're probably bone um, turtles, tortoises, turtles. Yeah. Uh, those are those. Cool. <laughs> Linda said my sister ran off with a carny when she was a girl back in the 70s. I can see the appeal. That carny life. <laughs> All right, next up are these little cute red enamel ladybug earrings and then little i guess they're little buses those are cute oh yeah jewelry etc says i've yet to buy jewelry a lot from shop goodwill does, does the bidding get crazy competitive at the end like in oh yeah it does um it does so i've got a few lots eh, i'm gonna make my money back but sometimes it's just like what Airplanes, and I think right now too, because so many other places are kind of shut down, people are trying to scratch that itch, I suppose. So there's that. I just tend to put in the price that I want, or my max price, and then um, if it goes above that, oh well. So, and then there are these little cameras. Those are sweet too. I wonder if my friend Kelly would wear those. She's a, she's a photographer. Then... Next up, Lydia remembers that story. I know, it was so funny. I don't know. And my dad, oh, here, that was, this is another part of that Carney story. So my dad is, like, really frugal, like, extra frugal. And so he was complaining about the entry fee. This is before we found out there was going to be no hot air balloons. The entry fee and then the, the, the prices for everything. So he's walking around, like, complaining to the Carneys how insane the prices are. Can you believe these prices? I can't believe that we're having to pay blah, blah, blah for a snow cone. We paid 20 bucks at the entrance. And my dad thinks Carnies don't care. That's what they're here for. Yep. <laughs> okay, we got another little owl. These are so cute. I just love them. Um, John says, am I planning on doing an online auction on YouTube? I don't think so. They were fun. They were, they, now that I don't, mm, they're really long first and I don't have with, with my kids I don't have somebody like with my kids so it's I feel selfish taking that amount of time away from them and then after afterwards there's a lot it is a lot of work to get everything you know which boohoo whatever you're making sales market <laughs> get over it um but yeah it's so this this way I still um sell things. So like when people see stuff from my haul videos, a lot of times I'll get emails saying, hey, I'd like to buy that. So it, it works out, but probably not because of the time involved. They were fun, but now that it's it's all on me, you know, that I, can't, I can't really do it. So is it an owl earring? It was, I don't think so. Necklace? A necklace. Okay, then I like this. Let's take a peek. We've got this cool bracelet, and it looks like a travel bracelet. We've got, looks like the Eiffel Tower. Is that the Taj Mahal? Yeah, looks like the Taj Mahal. Oh, so it's all over the place. 
This one is New York. The next one, Great Wall of China. And then looks like Big, where is it? Big Ben Parliament. How many of these places have you been to? I have been to Big Ben Parliament. I have not been to the Great Wall of China. That'd be cool. I have, I've been to New York, but I did not go to the Statue of Liberty. And I've never been to the Taj Mahal or Paris. So two of them, but I didn't do a whole lot. I was only in New York for like 24 hours. I was dating a guy, his parents lived in Jersey and we were there for Thanksgiving, which was a really bad idea because we ended up spending the night, the night before Thanksgiving at a friend of his, cause we went out the night before Thanksgiving in New York. And then the next morning we were supposed to take the train back to his parents in New Jersey and we forgot about the Thanksgiving Day Parade <laughs> and trying to get a train out of New York City on Thanksgiving morning, I felt like I was in Calcutta and like holding on. I was literally sitting on the floor of the train because it was so packed. There was nowhere. And like I said, we'd been out the night before, so I'm going to stand it up. Um, and yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> So, oh, Kim, hey, she says, just so you know, I did sanitize it all before sending. Thank you so much for this. Hi. We're enjoying this a lot. So, that was my New York story. I guess I should go back. This is a long time ago. We're talking in at least 20 or more years ago. When was that? Gosh. Probably 98 or 99. Then we have a spoon. I'm guessing this is Brussels. Look at this kid. Where's my other one? Here we go. Tweet two. <laughs> we can call that a uh oh. Tweet two. There. <laughs> why, oh, Priscilla says, why did they dive bomb? I used to live in a, actually, same boyfriend, uh, the guy we went to New York. We lived in this place that we had to park kind of behind the house. And there were these banana trees that were back by the garage and it was just infested with them. Uh, and so every time we would come home from going out in the East, especially at night, you were just like running like this to the door, trying to get in the back door. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Cause those bad boys are dive bombing you. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. So, Next is this really pretty necklace. It's got these cool gold discs and it's really long, but I think it's one of those that you could wrap it around, you know, and, and play around with it. That's pretty nice. Yes, it was very generous of Kim, uh, Kimberly. Kim, thank you again. So then these earrings, oh, how blingy. So then we've got these blue blingy earrings. Very fun. Oh, yeah. I like them. So that's cool. Let's see. we got a few more here. Oh, this has been so much fun. Oh, yay. We have some glass pendants. This is one. Oh, this makes me wonder. Look. Looks like this. I thought there were, like, real flowers in there, but now I wonder. Because look at that one. is really stretched out. So maybe it's <clears throat> somebody's got some real artistry with the glass in there. Ginger Witch says that's Le Mannequin Piss, which is a big sculpture in the middle of Brussels and the signature image in Belgium. <laughs> Way to go, Belgium. <laughs> then there's this one, pretty. I'm just teasing. I hope there's no Belgians. Belgiums? The Belgians are, what do you call the Belgians? They're, I'm going to say the wrong thing. They're Belgians. No, that can't be right. Anyway, don't take offense. Belgians. Belgians. All right. So, maybe it's Belgian. There's another one that's really cool with the flower inside. Belgian, right? That's bothering me now. Why do I feel like that's not right? Belgium is the place. Belgian. Do you ever get that where you start saying words and they just don't? I haven't been around people 
so <laughs> I guess it's to be expected. Belgians, right? Belgium, Belgian. Americum, American. That I didn't think that through before I said it out loud. <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> Okay, look, this is a great one for right now with all the healthcare workers. <laughs> Flemish, there we go. Um, and the teddy bears, etc. Oh, that's really nice. That's cool. Okay, then this is so fun. Belgians, yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I just couldn't think, you know, where words fail. Oh, this is nice. So here we've got where words fail, music speaks. And that is looks like a it looks like a guitar pick on a bracelet. That's pretty cool. And we've got oh these are like little globes. Little globe earrings. <laughs> and oh those are more. More little globes. And then, oh, this is a cute, I wonder if these go together. I bet they do. So one is a piano and the other is, because there's not a mate, but these could go together. Sure. Not all Belgiums are Flemish. Oh, my goodness. There's a Flemish museum between here and Houston. I haven't stopped. We passed by it, though, or we passed by a sign for it. We should go by and check it out sometime, I think. I guess there must have been some, some phlegms, some Flemish that um, settled here. So, <laughs> very interesting. Okay, then there's a teeny one of this. Oh, I love it. The little globe cut out. That's really sweet. Okay, we got a few more. I think I did okay. I didn't get too wild and crazy. I didn't start singing anything too bizarre. I only made one faux pas, I think. You'll let me know later if I made more. This one... Oh, I think the bottom part came off. Oh, darn. It was a little cross. Oh. Okay. This is a... I'll save that one for last. And then... How many friends do we have watching? Oh, 219. Go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> this... Oh, this is sweet. So this is a sweet little bracelet. And it says, Love... Love is patient, and this one, let me read it out. Love is patient, love is kind is on that one, and then this one, believe, faith, dream, hope, love, laugh. So this has got all kinds of little inspiring words on it. That's awesome. And then, I think this is the last one. Ginger Witch says, to confuse you even more, Germanic ethnic groups native to Flanders in modern Belgium who speak Flemish Dutch. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, then this is a cool key with a flower design and then some bling behind it. That's really awesome. Very cool. Okay, so <clears throat> that's our haul. I can't believe it. We did it in record time. How long has it been? I say that but then I haven't paid attention. Whoa, maybe it's been longer than I thought. <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> pardon me. I'm really glad that you got, could all come. And again, I know some of you are not used to, you're, if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen me do videos this way. And I was remarkably well behaved, I'm just going to say. So, yeah, we'll have to do this again. Uh, probably in a week or so, because I do have the other part of the haul from yesterday I have it recorded, so I'm going to put that out later this week. And tomorrow, I'll be live with my sales for the week. And that'll probably be around 3 o'clock in the afternoon central time tomorrow. I'm trying to stick it right at that time so people will know if they want to come hang out. And, um, yeah. Was that all in all the jars? So, Saturn Girl, that was just in what Kimberly sent. I still have these two jars. So, we'll do these. So, next time... We'll um, we'll vote on which one of those to do. Maybe we try to do it on Sunday next next weekend. 
Because we could make this a thing. We could make this a new live thing. Sunday. Face up. We'll see how it goes. All right. I really hope you guys have a great afternoon. I have to go eat lunch. I haven't eaten yet. That's probably why. I'm... The, the more I don't eat, the punchier I get, I think. so. But I hope you guys uh, have a really great afternoon. And stay safe out there. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Ah, uh, okay. Bye, everybody.